Hey guys, I'm down here behind the gym, getting ready to do my workout for the day. I chose uh, four exercises that are more power plyo based. I chose double kettlebell snatches with two 50 pound kettlebells. Um, sprawls, not a burpee, just a simple sprawl. Clap push ups and then a hill sprint. So this would be more of like a power oriented thing. Squats, regular push ups, crunches, those are more for strength. You could even make those endurance. But like I was talking about a couple weeks ago in class, plyometric and power activities are meant to be very aggressive and fast for a lower rep. So sometimes you'll have people who try to do burpees for 15 or 20 reps, um, clap push ups, such an aggressive style movement that you don't want or need to do very many of them within the same set so set and rep scheme I'm going for five rounds total for time see how fast I can get these done um, eight double snatches set my weights down I go into six sprawls stay on the ground on the seventh sprawl I go through four clap push-ups and then I take off onto a hill sprint so as you can see if you did my athletic kettlebell class this is a familiar sight to you it's a nice hill um, as you go along the building here that's a little bit of a shorter hill as you get right out here away from the building it gets a little bit taller and then over this way it starts to get a little bit more gradual so I have my stuff set up right here at the base I'll set my camera up at the top of the hill and you can see me going through all my stuff and taking off up the hill and finally do as I say not as I do as you can see my shoes are already wet I have little to no traction on these ASICs and the ground is wet and muddy so Probably shouldn't be doing this out here today, but I'm already a little psyched for the workout, so I'm going to do it anyway. So, I'll quit talking and get to working. All right, four rounds down. Um, hope you can see my face all right. Um, kettlebell double snatch. As you can probably tell the first couple videos, or times through, that first rep always throws me off balance. Um, whenever you're doing something for time, I stress this a lot in class, that transitions are huge from one exercise to the next. Um, kettlebell snatch after that eighth one it may not seem like a big task but you got to set your kettlebells down and move into a space that's open for your sprawls first time my feet hit my kettlebells third time my hand hit my kettlebell you can stay in the same spot to go into push-ups then reaching for that watch and running up the hill I think my first round is like 48 seconds that last one was 40. 
most of the um, decrease in time was from transition. So last round, after number eight, I'm just gonna pitch those kettlebells between my legs and drop straight into my sprawls. On sprawl number seven, I'll go into my push-ups. Um, and then I'll have my watch right there ready to go. So this is number five. My goal is to get up here in 35 seconds. So we'll see if I can make it. It's always good to have a goal. Son of a biscuit. Now, as you can see, I threw my headphones and my MP3 player out in class. You will not bring MP3 players. You will not bring headphones. Perfect example. Just gets in the way, all right? Part of that mental thing that a lot of people have environment has to be perfect because be in the gym and their cut off shirt favorite shorts mp3 player blaring their motivation music take them outside their element put them outside they turn into a big turd so part of the video today trying to stress not only the time factor but um, being outside listening to cars driving by having people Jogging by on the trail looking at me like I'm an idiot. Um, you gotta deal with that stuff. So, hope you like the video. It's another quick sample of a four week warrior workout. Won't be doing double cleans or double snatches. Or, uh, excuse me, won't be doing snatches or double snatches, but everything else you might see. So, thanks for watching.